Welcome to the Aquarium Lighting for Planet Tanks series and in this specific video we're going to talk about light coverage in your tank. Check it out. So is your plants actually getting enough light coverage and how well the light is shining into your tank and how it's shining in your tank makes a big difference. Now, before we go on, if you're new here, you want to talk more about aquariums or learn more about aquariums, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon to know when I make new videos as well as do live streams. Now, just putting a light on your tank doesn't mean that your plants are going to get enough light or light at all. We have to take into consideration the light and how it's built and how it will shine into your tank. This is why you sometimes see people talking about getting another light or talking about raising the light from their tank. It's not just to relieve the intensity but also to make the spread more wide so that the light is hitting more of the tank itself. And that's why like I'd say any manufacturer of lighting worth its spit will give you a nice little diagram about the spread of their light. Now of course like we mentioned in the other previous two videos PAR is affected by the angle of where the light's hitting your plant. So let's go over this really quickly with some really cool diagrams. We consider two types of configuration for lighting. The strip lighting where the light stretches across the tank from side to side. This would be something like the Phoenix Planet Plus or the Fluval Fresh and Planet. The other configuration is a spotlight configuration which is usually suspended on top of the tank shining into the tank. This would be something like the ever so popular Kessel Lights. All this is pretty simple to understand. Let's start with the strip lighting. Here we're looking at a tank from the side. We're going to set the lighting fixture right in the middle position. The light spread would look like this and it will cover the tank this way going down the length of the lighting fixture. In this example, our LED strip lighting doesn't have much of a spread. So as you can see here, any plants in these areas won't get any light. And a quick disclaimer, this is just an example. Most commercial lighting covers a much wider spread. In order to get the light to reach these areas, we can simply do this. We can raise the lighting. But remember, when you do this, you lose par rating both from the distance and from the spread itself. So the other option is to add more lighting fixtures. Now we have all our bases covered. Also note that in these areas where the lighting overlaps, the par rating will increase. But by how much? I don't know exactly. I couldn't find an equation to figure out, so if anyone knows, leave a comment down in the video below. And just for reference, this is why many people like using T5 high output fixtures. A four bulb or six bulb light fixture will cover a large area overlapping the spreads. This also applies to the use of the spotlight configuration. In a longer tank, however, you would probably be using two or more fixtures side by side to get proper coverage. Okay, how about a real life example? Remember my old Dutch style 20 gallon tank? If you follow the whole series, you'll know that I put a 24 inch Phoenix Planet Plus lighting fixture on it. Over time, I raised the lighting. At first it was because I had trouble with hair algae. When I figured that out, and by the way, that was because my CO2 diffuser wasn't working right, I lowered the light again. A couple weeks after that, however, I raised the fixture again. At this point, the main reason was that my stem plants in the back had grown up to the top of the tank. If the light wasn't on the riser, the angle of the spread would not have covered the top portions of the plant. And I was getting more than enough par for the s in carpets that I was growing. Now another option is this. I could have just slid the fixture back and the spread would look like this. The reason why was I didn't want to push that much intensity to the stem plants, especially at the top of the plants. And I was also worried that I might lose the spread to the rest of the tank. Especially considering how bushy the stem plants got. It would have blocked out the light to the plants towards the middle and the front of the tank. Now another factor about how well your light spreads is the use of refractors. Now you probably hear this, especially if you're hearing conversations about bulb type fixture like a T5 or a compact fluorescent or even metal highlights, which we used to use a lot in our hobby. When you use a bulb light fixture, you're going to lose a lot of the light from the top of the tank. It's going to shine out from the tank itself. So we use reflectors to reflect the light and the intensity back into the tank itself. So if you go shopping for a T5 high output fixture, make sure that it's a welly made fixture and that has the proper reflectors on it. Now just to keep in mind, fixtures with reflectors that have a mirror-like surface to it is going to cost a little bit more rather than just sticking with a fixture that just is painted white. 
Now, of course, if you have the mirror light reflector surfaces, it's going to bounce the light more readily into your tank. But I guess using white paint can work as well, just not more efficiently. That's why you see a price difference between the two. Now, what if you don't have a reflector on your current bulb light fixture? Well, the good news is there are third party manufacturers out there that make an all in one type of, you know, do it yourself reflector kit that might fit on your fixture. And this is probably where you're going to have to pull up Google to find a kit that might fit your fixture. Now, there's always options like do it yourself option where you use reflective mylar or maybe tin foil and just use it and tape it on your lighting fixture so you get the light reflecting back into your tank. So when planning out your lighting solution for your planted tank, do not discount on how well that light is going to cover your plants in that tank itself. Remember, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification icon as well as like this video, leave a comment and share it where you can. Remember, I love you guys. Stay wet with your tanks. I'll see you in the next video.